Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be part number 22 in my Ancurses tutorial series. Uh, today we're going to be covering insert line, delete line, and insert delete line, as well as their family of functions, which are pretty much just w insert line, w delete line, and w insert delete line, or w ins del line. We'll get into it in a minute. Um, if you haven't seen my previous tutorials on Ancurses, recommend checking those out first, unless you're already very familiar with Ancurses. Um, otherwise, yeah, let's just get started. So to start out today, I've got a little bit of uh, code already set up here. Um, if you want, you can copy it all down. Let me go over it real quick. So first off, we're just including ncurses up top. We have our main function here. Then we start ncurses. We call no echo just because I don't want to display any characters that I'm, I'm pressing to the screen. Um, then also, you know, moving down to the bottom, we've got a uh, end when call down here before the return. Um, and then in the middle here, I've created a window because uh, to illustrate how these functions work today, it's, it's much more helpful to use a window um, than it is to use the standard screen. So I've created a window here and then I just refresh and W refresh to make sure everything's showing up. Um, then I've just printed some lines to that window. Uh, we do a basically a, a waiting call here for a character to make sure that we see before and then we move and then we call some functions down here. Um, and then we do another waiting call to make sure we see what happens after we perform this operation. I'm just going to update these to W functions. All right. Uh, I also have a make file here that um, allows us to make uh, our main.cpp file into a main executable. And that should be all you need to get started today. So. Um, so essentially the functions we're going to be looking at, like I mentioned, are insert line and W insert line. Uh, w delete line and delete line and w insert delete line or w ins del line and ins del line which you know is i'll get to what this does in a second but it's basically kind of like these two functions put into a single function but um the first one we'll cover is uh insert line so essentially what insert line does is it, it inserts a line at whatever position the cursor is currently at um so unlike uh, some of the other end cursors functions, this one doesn't have a move version. So we have to do the move operation separately. Um, at least I didn't see a move version. I don't think there's a move version. So um, essentially, let's just give our example here. First off, I just want to explain this window here. So this window only has four characters or four rows. So it can only hold four rows of text. Um, it's 25 characters wide just because it is. I, I just picked a random number. Uh, and it's going to be five down and five over from the top left corner. And then I've just printed out four lines of text uh, so it completely fills our window. So what happens here is if we make and run, you'll see that we get our four lines of text and the cursor is technically going to be right here. Um, actually, let me update the code a little bit so that that's more obvious. So essentially, I'm going to do the W move before the get char call so we can actually see the cursor uh, and where it's supposed to be. So. Uh, we'll make and run that. So you'll see that uh, we've got our four lines of text and our cursor is sitting right here on this line. Then uh, I'm going to hit a character and it's going to perform the insert line. And what happens is because our cursor is at this position, it inserts a blank line at that position and it moves every other line down one. And then if whatever the last line is in this window gets essentially deleted, it's gone forever. Um, so there's no, it's not like we're scrolling, like that's gone, that's been deleted. Um, so essentially what this does is it basically just adds a, a, a brand new line to our window. Um, and this is why it's easier to show this in, an, in a window as opposed to standard screen, because I'd have to fill the whole screen with text or create a really small window. But yeah, this also works, this function would also work as on standard screen like that. Um, but I'm just going to demonstrate using Windows because you can actually technically do this on the standard screen just by passing a standard screen like that um, as an example. Uh, anyways, so that's what insert line does. Um, we could change this to a different line just to show how that would work. Uh, we'll make and run again. Again, we're on the third line. If we click, you'll see it adds a line there instead. So that's essentially how insert line works. Next, we can look at delete lines. So I'm just going to comment this line out and we'll look at delete line. So delete line works in a very similar way, except it deletes the line under the cursor. So what happens when it deletes the line under the cursor is it will actually move all the other lines up one and it'll add a blank line at the bottom. So you'll see, I 
you know, was waiting for a character, I pressed a character, it deleted row two where our cursor was, and then it added a blank line here at the bottom. So that's how delete line works. And finally, we can look at W insert delete line or insdel line, whatever, however you want to pronounce it, it doesn't really matter. It's basically a combination of the insert line and delete line methods. And it takes two parameters if you're using the W version, which are the window and then a number. Now this number can either be a positive or a negative in integer. If you use a positive integer, it'll add that many lines. If you use a negative integer, it'll delete that many lines. So for instance, if we do two, it will add two lines. So uh, starting at whatever cursor position. So we're at position two or, you know, we're on, our cursor is on line two or row two, or sorry, I guess if we're doing zero index, it's row one, but we'll, we'll say row two. Now, if I click or if I hit a character, it's adding two lines starting at this position. And so you'll see that all we have left is one and two because we've added two lines. And again, those other lines at the end there just got deleted, they're gone forever. So now if we wanted to completely delete the whole screen or everything below, we could insert three lines and then everything would be gone. Bam. So that's how the positive integers work. Now let's use a negative integer. So we'll use uh, negative one just to show that it's basically acting just like delete line. So um, if we hit a character there, you'll see it acts just like delete line did where it deletes, a lot, or, uh, deletes one row uh, or, or line of, of text and then it moves everything up one, filling the bottom line with a just blank text or you know, empty text. Now for to do two, you'll see that we actually delete two lines. Um, so if we make and run this again, you'll see if we're, we're waiting for a character, we click, it deletes two lines and fills two blank lines up at the bottom. Hey guys, uh, Future Austin back here to clarify a point. Um, I showed in, uh, when you insert a line, either using W insert or W insert delete, that um, the last line gets deleted. That only happens if you hit the boundary of the window. So for instance, we only had four lines in our window or four rows. Because we only had four rows and we had four lines of text, when you insert a line, the last row gets deleted because there's no room for it. But if this were to have five or, or sorry, whoops, if this were to have five or more uh, rows in it, the window, it wouldn't delete the line. It would just move it down one. That works for insert line and it would also work for uh, W insert delete line if it's a positive number. So you'll see if we're if we use that and we have a line this line doesn't get deleted because it's still within the window so it only deletes that last line if there's no more room in the window so just wanted to clarify that quickly so that's pretty much uh, this family of functions uh, and end curses if you guys like this video uh, consider giving it a thumbs up if you have any questions comments or video suggestions you can leave those down below um, and if you want to see more videos like this consider checking out my playlists on end curses or subscribing so you see these videos right as they come out. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you in the next video.